Hello together. This is my very first video about the POP2 3D scanner. It's a very short video. Um, since I saw already some people have problems with uh, scanning simple structures, I want to show here on an example um, how the alignment works and where it comes to problems. So, here's the test setup. It is a very simple object. It is a bowl with holes. One could assume that the scanner could use the holes for alignment. Of course, the holes are arranged very symmetrically. This could lead the alignment jumping back and forth, but it comes quite differently. I now go into RevoScan. I use Feature, Higher Accuracy, No Color. So let's start the scanning process. As you can see here, the holes are completely ignored, and for the scanner it's now a closed surface that does not actually move at all, and now it even starts to glide. This is because the scanner, or rather the software, only used detected points for alignment, but not holes and not detected areas. Because the material of the bowl is so thin, the scanner cannot find any edges here and therefore cannot recognize the holes as such. However, there's a little trick you can use to change this. I use a piece of white cut paper that I place under the bowl. Back in RevoScan, you can already see the change. Now the holes are recognized as depressions. Let's start another scan attempt. As you can see, the scanner has no more problems with the alignment. In this case, it can still happen that the scanner al can't allocate some frames correctly, but this is because the holes are too symmetrically. I hope that this example could help a little to understand how the alignment works. I will try to make some more videos about the scanning process with EPOP2 in the near future, and I hope you will like them. Thanks for now and happy scanning!